Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Twisted Paper Studio. How are you? It's Sunday, you guys. Day 68. Day 68. Can you believe it? Of the 100 Day Project. Day 68. How are all of you? I hope you're all well. I am going to be reading the dragon cards today. I just want to check something here in my comments. I thought I had a question... I thought I did. Um, I don't know. I'll go back and check if I if I have to answer it on there. I will instead of on here. Well, anyway, um, I'll give my beautiful blessings while I'm here. So beautiful blessings to T Teresa Zules. Welcome, Teresa, and thank you, Biddy Penny, for for um referring me and doing my twisted tangles. <clears throat> and beautiful blessings to Steph B. And beautiful blessings to Peggy McCubin. Beautiful blessings to you. Thank you for commenting on my channel so I know you're there. I'm just going to go ahead and set this timer. Uh, if I can find it. Set the timer. Start it. We're going to read our dragon cards. So how are all of you? I hope you are all well. Uh, thank you for joining me today. So this is Friday's. It was day 66, Saturday was day 67, today's Sunday is day 68. Yes, oh my goodness, day 68, you guys, of the 100 Day Projects. Let's see what this beautiful word is today for us to be reminded of. Let's see. Banana dragon, gather. So cute. Gather is a good word. It is. Let's read what the banana dragon has to say about gather. It's for us to be reminded of that word. Um, banana. Okay. When banana dragon shows up, call on your friends. Here is a creature who loves to gather. You should look for your group, your chosen family, your bunch. You can thrive within the right group of people. Remember that this doesn't mean all of them. Just focus on the ones who support you in your own personal brand of expression. The others you find appealing are the ones to join with. Put your energy into them instead of those who make you feel like you're splitting. Time to bring your community together. That's so sweet. Yes, I do that every day. By making my videos, I bring you guys together. You're my crafting buddies. Um... <clears throat> Let's take a look at the field notes for the banana dragon. Again, this is simulating the fruit, so we're getting to learn a little bit too. It's a fun way to learn. The banana dragon hatches green in color. It slowly turns to the bright yellow over the first few days. As the banana dragon matures, it may display brown spots. You can tell the age of the banana dragon by the color. As the older it gets, the more brown it shows. The banana dragon is considered a member of the berry tribe rather than the fruit tribe. I love learning those little tidbits, you guys. <clears throat> okay, so let's get started. We were um, finishing up these these little um, paper clips. Um, I have my plates here, and let me just see where my book is. Because I think... <coughs> I did, I took some pictures, but we had finished those little ones and I put them in the book, but look how darling they look in here, like that. You guys, you can use them in your books. They're so much fun. Although I am gonna do a little something. So on the backs of these had paper. This one was not so bad, <clears throat> but they had the paper flowers. And the paper flowers, the glue kind of um, really seeped through on the paper flowers. So I think I'm going to wait or do that a little differently. I, <coughs> excuse me. I cut uh, a little, I used this little um, circle punch. I don't know the size because it's already, I already took the packaging off. But I, I it's small. <laughs> I used the little circle punch to try to get some of these dots off the back there. So let's see about that. Um, now this glue, I had said when I started using it, it was wow to me because it worked so much differently than the other glue. Um, when I when I did this at first, I had a 
I had the jewelry glue, but it didn't come out this precise. And it also was not fast drying. I had to wait overnight, you guys. So I'm thinking that, um, oh, I should have had those little things so it could hold. Uh, what did I do with them? I don't know if I put them away. Nope, I didn't. I want it to be able to hold its spot. So it has leverage. So let me just do that on here. And then probably by the end of the video, it will be dry. It seems to be drying quick. And I didn't notice that at first because I wasn't, I was being so gentle and I wasn't checking. <clears throat> Let me get this up in the, I'm not, am I recording? Okay. I forgot even if I pressed record. I really did. So how are all of you? I hope you are well. It's a very rainy Sunday here. Um, we were supposed to go do something fun today with my niece. However, the rain stopped that from happening. <laughs> yeah, it seems to be drying really fast, you guys. So if you use this, it's probably going to dry fast. And I had no clue. I thought it was going to take so long. I really did. That's only because that other one, maybe I used, maybe I didn't use this jewelry. Maybe I used E6000, which I know takes really long. I do know that. Maybe that's why. Sometimes the paper clips have smaller space in the single See up here, I'm having to move it down some. It's like a smaller, a, sm a smaller little hoop to work with. And that's not taking very well. The other one stuck rather quickly. Okay, let's get this right. Put it down. I'll put some more on and I'll do that again. <clears throat> They really came out cute, you guys. They really did. I'm very happy the way, the way they came out. Oh my goodness, I'm a wreck here. Don't get the glue on your skin. Okay, stay. Stay. <laughs> stay, good puppy. I'll move that over. Oh, and I wanted to say, if any of the glue falls along the side from when you stick it on the plate, you could just use the nail file, you know, take it, take it right off. If it go, if it goes on the side, oh my goodness, that, um, <clears throat> that plate keeps getting hit, you guys. <laughs> okay, so let's put some on here and we'll do this one. I'm glad you guys like this project. I got a lot of nice comments on it. So it's a lot of fun. And you'll be able to, um, you'll be able to <clears throat> customize your own paper clips, you guys. Yes, you will. Okay. I'll put some more on the top. I do want it to stay. I'm getting some more here. Okay. We have two more to do. And they should be dry by the end of the video. The music notes. The music notes came out so pretty. I don't know if you could see that. <clears throat> well, I better get those the right way. I think it's that way. Okay. I'm not the music one. That would be Mr. Luya. You guys, so so I, I did my video yesterday. I cleaned my room and stuff, you know. And I'm just trying to get myself ready again for the week. And I really just wanted to say thank you. Um, you guys have helped me get through a very tough time. 
And then my heart was breaking a little bit yesterday while I was cleaning my room. Um, and the day before, uh, I didn't quite say it on the video, however. <clears throat> so the, um, the day I came home, of course, was my mother's birthday, which is April 28th. And, and the boys got the news that the show was canceled for, um, Bamboozle Fest. So that was a downer, you know, because I, I believe it, you know, it was canceled in good reason that the world works in mysterious ways. And it's a good thing. Maybe, maybe it wouldn't have been good for them or bad or somebody would have gotten hurt or something. So... We were dealing with that the day before we buried our beloved nanny and mom. And then my mom's birthday, I was dealing with the pain of that because it is painful. Um, although time has gone by, it, it is still painful. And then my son calls me when I'm in town uploading the video. And he he's very sad. And my older son, which is Louis' manager... And he got the news that his, one of his very close friends that lived, that was with him, in, you know, in, he lived in the same town as, he lives in the same town as them. And they met him, they met him, you know, about 10 years ago, um, had taken his own life and he was their age. So, and the, my kids all share the same friends, so... It was just a, it was, it was just an, an, an extremely hard past few days with events that have gone on. And I just really, I feel bad because I'm so far away and you know, I'm their mom and you always want to protect your children, you know? So it's just, it's been really, really, really tough, really tough for our family and I just wanted to say thank you guys because you have always, you know, you've always uh, been there and you're always sweet and supportive and this 100 day project has definitely been what's been keeping me going for, for sure. So um, I wanted to do something with, well, let's move forward so we can um, have some nice, happy times. Maybe some laughter. I'm going to try to get back at that laughter, you know, because I do have, I do have lots of laughs to, to give. So I'm going to show you a little trick here. You may not have this. You may have it. It was a big thing for a while. I know that I have it because I used to do invitations and um, give me one second. I'm going to, I'm going to get my box here. I don't know what I have in my box here. I have a whole, a whole thing full of, um, foil from when I did imitations. I used to do foil imitations, but there's still good foil on here. If anyone's ever done foil before, when you... When you use the foil in the spots that you haven't used it, you can use it. So I saved this stuff because it was very expensive. And I'm just going to go ahead and um, cut right down here. You can, you can even see some of my work on the wedding invitations I used to do. <laughs> and then, well, even I can even use this. So wherever it's not done. So if you if you use this wherever... Wherever you have foil, if you work with this foil, I'll tell you some names of it, but if you work with this foil, um, you need toner ink for it to come out. But however, it this is also heat activated. So I'm going to check to see that this will work on here. I think it will. And I'm going to just put this right over. I'm going to kind of cut it small so I can... So I can see where where it is on the page, and then um, I have this heat pen, and let me tell you who it's by. So it's by American Crafts, 
they did sell it for a little while in um it's a foil quill pen they sell it's by we are memory keepers they did sell it for a little while in the stores although i got this years ago so i don't know i don't know if they do or they don't but if you guys have it i have already mine heated up but what i'm gonna do is these are the watercolors here i'm just gonna put it right over the watercolor and just um outline it like that and we'll do some more let me um i have this one here let me see if this one might be better <laughs> this is gold that's rose gold it's not really showing up that well so i'm gonna go ahead and cut some off here so if you guys have this this would be really fun way to use it in your papers on your um on your journal page or even you know with your watercolor after i do this one i'll show you yeah and um, maybe i'll use this and now remember i told you you as long as you so there's lots of gold around here so i can still go around this because i didn't use it all yet yeah so i don't sh can you see that you see it glittering the gold can you see it i don't know if you can <laughs> it just it looks beautiful and if you have if you have this pen um it's lots of fun to play with with your junk journal you can mix it in with your papers you know, I don't think the rose gold is, the rose gold is very, very pink. So I think I'm going to stick with the gold. So it's hard to see the rose gold on the paper. But I'm going to keep going and do a few more things. I mean, why not? How fun is this? I think it's fun. I'll try it on the orange. And then, and then of course, you can do this on anything. You don't have to do it on the watercolor. You can do it on any of your pages. I'm going to try it on, on where it's written. I think that would look pretty. And you can um, get, I'm sure that you can get this online. 100% sure. <coughs> and I will show you the name. like, Or you could rewind it. You could rewind the, the um, film and go back and look. Or I, I will tell it to you. That's rude of me. I didn't mean to be rude. I'm just trying to <laughs> get this done in a timely manner. And I did have to get a video done today. So, um, oh yeah, I like it. I don't know if you could see what I'm doing here, but, and then if you have other things, if you, maybe we'll get a digital and, and we'll use it on a digital and see what happens. Um, let's see. Yeah. Oh, I love it. It looks really cool. It looks really cool. I love it. Can you see that? It's really, really neat. Okay, let's see how it looks on a digital. And then it is called Foil Quill. Foil Quill by We Are Memory Keepers. That's what it's called. And let me see. I think I had a digital here somewhere. Or at least just a piece of one. I have a piece of one. So, let's see. Of course, you're not going to be able to see what you're writing through the gold. But you can... You can just do things like I'll just do this in the in the D. Oh, look how beautiful it looks pretty. So now I need to do a little bit more. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's so pretty. It looks like it's gold foiled now. It's beautiful. And then maybe you could just do like squares instead of or circles or write something write something on the page 
on a digital. Um, where is it? We'll get some more. I don't know what. Maybe you could just do shapes or numbers. Let's see. Or a sweet message. Like, let's see. What can we write here? We can write something. How about... Um, we can... Oh, the, you know what? The number... Number seven is always lucky. Let's write the number seven. I'll just do it like this. I don't know if you could see it, but it's on there, the number seven. You can do fun things like that. I liked this. I like it. I forgot all about it. I really did. I won't do any more on here, but I definitely liked it on this watercolor thing. Let's do one more. And then we'll go back and check our, we'll go back and check our um, paper clips. Let me make sure I'm in my spot. And I'm just going over the squares of the watercolor that's here. Um, I don't even have to get it on there. I mean, I am getting it on there, but I don't have to. It could be um, over to the side. It doesn't have to be the same or match it. It could be a different, a different square. And again, you can't see when you're doing this, so it kind of just has to be in the back. And then, I'm not sure if you know this, but there are different colors. There are different colors of the foil. And, of course, I'm not a salesman for any of this stuff, so <laughs> I'm a, I should be, right? Because I always, I always am promoting all this, all this um, scrapbooking stuff. <clears throat> but I like it, so if I like something, I don't mind sharing it. Um, I think I ha I, had, I used to go to the Jacob Jabbit Center craft show. And I would get, I would get so much stuff there, you guys. I used to come home with so much stuff. <clears throat> and be so excited. I haven't went since before COVID uh, to, the, to the paper show in New York City. I loved that. So this is like a silver foil. This is fun. And, but again, I used to get all this stuff because I have all this stuff because I did invitations. And I don't do them anymore. Um, unless they're for family. There was not much I could do with my creativity during invitations. I was at the I was at the beck and call of someone else. And that was really tough for me, especially being so creative. Um, let's move, let's do this one on here. Um, let me see, where am I? We'll do this and then we'll finish up our, our, um, well this is not coming off. Why? Is this heat activated? I have to see. <clears throat> I have to see if it's heat. Is it still on my pen? Yes. For fabric and paper transfer. Is it heat activated? I don't even know. Um, you can use this on. You can use this on fabric. Huh. So why isn't it coming off? It should come off. Let's try it again. And try it one more time. It should. No. Let me see. It probably won't work on the fabric. If it didn't work on the paper. That's for paper and fabric. Huh. I wonder why. 
I'm going to have to research into that why. <clears throat> For fabric and paper, transfer sheets. It should work the same way. Oh, no, it's not going to work with the heat. It's for toner transfer and glue. That was for something else. So we can get into that another day. We're not getting into that today. <laughs> That's for a special printer. Um, all right, so we'll put that away. We will put that away, but I do have more colors. And more colors. And I have more colors in storage, too. <clears throat> okay, so let me unplug this. And this is all it is. It's just a pen. It can hook up to your computer. It could hook up to your Cricut machine. It's fun. If you have the Cricut machine, I think you can use this with that or something like that. I recall it a little bit. Okay, so... Let's move this over here and we're going to finish these up. These should be done. No. Oh, that was dangerous, Donna. <laughs> you danger. Danger, Will Robinson. Danger. Touching the jewelry. Okay. Let's take a look at what I have. I have paper flowers galore. I do. All right. So, I have lots of different kinds of paper flowers. I have dimensional ones. I have flat ones. I have old sticker ones. Those will probably be good. And that, then it won't seep through. I bet you that will be good if I put that on there like that. I probably should put some more glue on there first. And like this. Put that back there. That scared me. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have to let this dry overnight. But. Huh. It should dry in a few seconds. Where's my paper? It shouldn't take but a few seconds for it to dry a tiny bit. Okay, so there we go. I used the, the glue and I just did a bigger flower in the back. That's cute. And then these are staying, but it looks like the glue isn't completely dry. So I definitely would leave this overnight. So now I'm going to put this piece of paper on here. This and uh, with the fabric tack glue because that's not going to leave a residue. And then I'm going to put this back here like that so that this way I can glue what I want in the back side now without so it can glue right on the paper. And this way, nothing, none of that. Um, that what happened yesterday on the other flowers on the other on the other, I'm sorry <clears throat> on the other paper clips can can be there just these just the little paper circle <clears throat> and it won't leave a residue I thought I had one more oh here like this so this is a fun craft. I hope you guys make some. They're really, really cute in the book. They're darling. They are. They're so darling. And they really work very well um, to paperclip things together. You still have this part that you use. And you just 
clip it on. Aren't they cute? They're just, I think they're darling. I hope you guys make some. So this is day two, um, finishing them. And you, I just um, derived away to where, here I'll show you what happens. So this one I did and this flower is on the back and you see it got all, it got all glue and everything. So that's an easy way to fix it is you just stick this on there while the glue is still wet piece of paper and then you'll be able to glue on the back there and you won't have that problem you won't have it I could even probably take this off I probably would just because I wouldn't sell it like this in my books I would never and I'll just I'll look at that and this is staying on there pretty good you guys and now I will go ahead and Put this back here like this and put this little piece of paper there and now I'll be able to have a place to glue my flower on the back and it won't come out I love it well thank you for joining me today I am I am um <coughs> I'm having a relaxed Sunday you guys so thank you for relaxing with me and, and crafting a little bit. Tomorrow we're gonna get back to business. I will show you something that I made that we are gonna be making. So let me pull that out really quickly. We're gonna be making this together. Um, most some of you who follow me on Instagram will probably see it, but I made this little book here. And if you do follow me on Instagram, you can see the inside. I'm not gonna show you the inside now because we're gonna make it together. But if you follow me on Instagram, you know that we're gonna be making it. And if you don't, go on over there and follow me if you wanna see what's on the inside. Okay, bye for now, my crafting buddies. I'll see you guys again tomorrow for day 69. Bye.